Hello there, and welcome back to the channel. Let's kick things off again now that the summer is is over. Let's get back to work. I hope you had a wonderful summer break. If you didn't, life is rough on you. But let's move on. So this first video of September, we are going to start off by a quick tutorial on how to make some eyes uh, quickly inside of ZBrush Core. So we are going to be using ZBrush Core 2018 uh, and we are going to start with this base head you can find in the uh, light box. We are going to delete those eyes because we are going to be making our own. I subdivide a couple times because the shading was triggering me a bit. And we're simply going to start off by appending a sphere. Then we are going to subdivide, nope, select the sphere, subdivide it a bunch of times so that it is fairly smooth. Then we are going to dynamesh it, maybe 512. Should be enough resolution to, for us to work with. Then we are going to hit that move uh, icon, hit the gear, and we're going to use the flatten deformer. We're going to turn off transparency so that we know which way is um, facing the front, because we have this face. And we're going to pick this um, triangle this cone and we're going to move it like so and this is going to flatten our surface and this flattened surface will be our iris so we have a visual representation and we can move this however we want so you can determine the size of your iris like so and you can visually check if that's something that's the size you want depending on your project and we're going to move it like so maybe just a tad more like so and we are going to accept now we are going to hit the gear again and we are going to use uh, this deformer deform is soft and we are going to start by manipulating those orange cones uh, not this one this one let's give it five and this one let's give it 16 and maybe the top one let's give it five okay so now we have this massive array of points that we can manipulate and we added the maximum number of points here on this uh, side view uh, because we want to only control this single point in the middle and the um, the more uh, points we have in this direction the less uh, impact a single point has so we are going to select this single point and then we are going to move it in like so. And you can see we're creating this divot and that's exactly what we want. So we gave it a resolution of five. So that way there are control points surrounding the, um, the perimeter of our, um, of our iris. And we're just moving the center because that's the only thing we want to move inwards. And that way all these points um, prevent this from manipulating the entire eye. So the more resolution you have, the less impact a single point has. So that's why we added all that geometry. That's why we added more geometry this way. So when we move this in, nothing else is affected. And we're going to hit accept. And we're almost done. Go back to draw, dynamesh again. Now we are going to append 
append, we are going to append this spherinder. We are going to subdivide it a bunch so it's nice and smooth. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees, so we're going to rotate it with shift uh, press down, so that way we have increments. So we can move it to the 90 degree position, and we're going to scale it down. We can turn this off, and we're going to move it like so. Turn off transparency, and this will be our pupil. So this is where you can determine the pupil size you need. So if you're going with someone with massive dilated eyes or with tiny um, play in the in the pure sunlight uh, pupil. Okay, so we're going to set it at an average like this. Looks pretty good. We are going to go over our subtool with the cylinder and we are going to hit that second icon here. That's going to tell us that we want to um, subtract. Now we're going to jump up to our main eye. Then we're going to go on the, under the merge panel and we're going to hit merge down. That's what's, what it's going to do is that it's going to merge this subtool with the uh, cylinder. Now we have this uh, merged piece. And what we want to do now is redynamish by making a mask outside of our shape, like so. And that is going to subtract our eye. And that is it. We have made an eye. Uh, so you have our iris that we uh, set previously, we made it slightly uh, concave, then we cut out a hole for the pupil. And at each step, you have some visual control on how big you want the uh, iris or the pupil. And once you've done this, we're going to duplicate it just for, um, just to keep it as a reference later. Now we are going to hit unhide our head we are going to activate transparency and we are going to scale it and move it into position and we're going to move it on the left side of the screen we can turn off transparency scale it down so move it Scale it to the appropriate height and position, move it forward slightly. And once you're done, you go to modify topology, hit mirror and weld, and you have both eyes. And that's why we wanted to uh, move it and scale it into position on the left, because that's how um, ZBrush uh, mirror and welds, mirror and welds from the left side to the right side when you're looking at it from the front. And that's it. And if you wanted, you could also, before you do all this, go back to here. This is a bonus part. So you still have access to all our, all your uh, sculpting tools. So you can activate symmetry and smooth that transition that pupil transition, smooth that our edge. You could mask the perimeter, so that way you can mask the inside a little bit easier. Like so. And we are going to quickly make a colored version. So we are going to go to our paint brush. Here it is. I'm going to pick pure black. And we are going to paint 
this pure black. Then we are going to pick a bluish color. So lower intensity and then we're going to start and bring back our color like so. Uh, we are starting from black and lifting the colors as we go. Uh, that way we can fake uh, if we put more, um, if we leave the uh, top part rather rather dark, we can fake some fake some shading from the uh, um, from the eyelid, the upper eyelid. Okay, shade this like so. Then we're going to move and slightly tweak our color change the size like so and just add a bit of uh, variation strikes like these and if we so you can keep doing this over and over again and we have since we used um, since we used um, since we used uh, Dynamesh to subdivide, it created a polygroup for us. So we have this pupil that we want to keep pure black and we can simply hit on it and make sure it's perfectly black like so and hide. And that way when you uh, scale and move it into position, you can already have it already poly painted. And that's going to wrap things up for this uh, quick episode on how to make a quick eye uh, using uh, ZBrush Core. I hope you found it useful. Uh, please do have a look at the other videos I have on my channel if you haven't already. Please do subscribe if you aren't subscribed yet. Uh, share, like, and comment if you have any questions. Uh, share if, uh, if you found it useful. That's a great way to help uh, this uh, channel grow. Uh, I have links in the description below to some base mesh and a few other uh, things I sell. If you can find it useful for you, that will help the channel as well. And uh, I'll see you guys soon for more elaborate videos. Until then, see you guys.